Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2! The Camp Cretaceous DLC, or not Camp Cretaceous, just Cretaceous pack, I think it is. We had the early Cretaceous, the Camp Cretaceous, and now we got the Cretaceous pack, I think. So we are in here not only to showcase this DLC and everything that goes with it, but also to showcase the new free uh, update that they've put in the game. And this is actually really good because, well, for a start, it's free, but it adds some, like, life changes into the game. Like, uh, I, I don't know what you call it. Uh, life enhancement changes, whatever. The, you know what I mean? <laughs> Someone's there like, you mean this, Beavers? God damn it. So, um, before we get into the new dinosaurs, one thing right off the bat you'll notice is the lagoon actually looks like different. What? What is this? Ooh. You can put stuff, and I'll slow this down because we're going really fast, uh, stuff at the side of it. If we go down into the decorations, you now have this. So you have the lagoon decorations. A lot of them are for underneath in the ocean. Or, you know, in the, in the water. Uh, but you do have a couple that are for the sides. Now, I've used all of them. Oh, look at me. Oh, I can't help myself. I get excited. So you've got some tree. Oh, God, no. Well, you've got trees here. Um, which is weird because they're kind of just floating. And in a way, I kind of want them floating more out into the lagoon rather than stuck to the sides. Things like these sails, or possibly this, where, you know, it's actually on the side, makes sense. Now, I don't know if you can actually put them on the side of the viewing things, like this. Uh, it would appear not, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's a bugger. I mean, it would, it would sort of... <laughs> You probably wouldn't be able to see much if you had this in the way, I suppose. But, you know, it's worth a shot. Um, so you have all of these. You've got, like, some cool ones with different flags on. You've got one with fire, you know, a bit like Jurassic Park. Uh, a lot of these things really feel like they were already in the game. But now, you know, they've taken the asset out and now they've placed it in their own sort of thing. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to cover everything you need to know, everything you can see in this, including animations as well. Uh, and you might be thinking, okay, this is interesting. But you may also have noticed, it's very hard to see, but down here, there is a little purple light. We'll get into that later. But first, we need to dive down into the lagoon to see the Indominus Rex skeleton. Now, they have added, if we look at our decorations, loads. Like, look, look at it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, including the Indominus Rex, underwater things to spruce up your environment. And they've obviously listened to the feedback, and there was a lot of feedback that the lagoons and also the Avery's kind of felt very left out. Like, they were just these things you placed in, and you looked at it, and it looked pretty. So they've decided to change it, and they've added a load of different things. However, this is everything. This is everything you're looking at here. Now, does it look different? No? <laughs> I've got to be honest. Like, it's cool. Like, all of these are slightly different. Even this, I think, is a nod to Jurassic Park 3 with the boat at the start that gets numbed on with, uh, I think, the Spinosaur. Because it doesn't... Or maybe it is the boat from the Spinosaur when it attacks them. It could be. When they attack... Basically, the Spinosaur attacks a lot of boats. It could be either one. The one in the beginning or the one with Alan Grant and Ellie Sadler when he's ringing her like... The RIVER! You know, that one. But anyway, um, so you also have this. This is a couple that have actual fish on them. And this is one of them. This is the biggest one. Also have bubbles. But the fish are very, well, they're, they're motionless. They don't do anything and they take pictures every now and again. <laughs> it's supposed to be like the glint of the scales of the fish body moves. But they, they're very much PNGs that are static and sort of go around. And to be fair, I can sort of understand where, you know, Frontier are coming from. They're not going to rig fish and make a shoal sort of appear. That's probably going to take up a lot of time, especially when you're doing it for multiple consoles as well as PC. What looks really good is when you get it just right. Hold on. So if you just skim just at the right point. There, look at that. Now... You actually have color. Now it looks different. However, when you're under the water, 
it kind of looks all the same. You do have this, which is quite cool. Something that I just noticed now. Why, why can't I move? Okay, there we go. Oh, I can't move because I'm apparently at the side of the lagoon. You have volcanic vents here, which is cool. So you've got reefs, you've got volcanic vents, or at least one of them, and you've also got the Indominus Rex skeleton. So you've got a Jurassic Park 3 Easter egg, you've got a Jurassic World Easter egg. That's cool. So it's a bit of a shame that they all look the same, and, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. However... There is one more cool thing that comes to the uh, lagoons. If you go into the hatchery, you have a new tab called Overview for the Lagoon Pilot Drone. So now you can actually go up, you can go down, look up, look down, look all around. The only thing that I would say would make this a lot better, like you can kind of recreate the scene from Dominion, where, oh sorry, uh, Fallen Kingdom, where they collect the uh, Indominus Rex DNA. The only problem is that's as low as you can go. <laughs> now you can scan, you can medicate, you can tranquilize, and you can also stimulant, uh, or stimulate. I assume the dinosaurs don't know exactly know what that means, but we'll get into that when we start releasing things um the only problem and oh hold on you can go first person mode oh sweet yes look this is so cool okay i don't want to scan i was gonna say i thought that you weren't able to um to go in first person mode but you actually can but however the only way you can do first person mode is like this so you get the crosshairs which is a little bit of a shame. It would be cool to have a, like, hood, like, UI, a bit like your Iron Man, you know what I mean? Like, you can see all the data, like, depth and altitude and, or you, you know what I mean? Sort of, like, as you go up and down, things rotate, like a compass rotate. That would be cool. But, alas, we don't get that. But it is a nice addition. So, if we jump straight into the Avery... As you can see now into here, I've played, there's like there's a couple of new decorations when it comes to land stuff. However, you can't place any of these decorations down, which again is a shame. I, it would have been cool to have a coral reef, but again, the reason why I think you can't do this is because if you place down the fish one, uh, of course, you'd have fish floating around and that wouldn't make sense. But it would be nice to have had like regular ones that don't release bubbles that could just be placed here. Or, well, maybe not on the Avery. It could be a beach even. That would be kind of cool. Now, these have lights. And as you can see, oh, you can't really see. It's supposed to be purple and blue and things. However, if we go into decorations, there's a new button uh, for lights. Now, if you click on your color tab, it instantly turns it to night. And you can actually check out what colors you want to put on things. And it's as simple as just clicking on a color and dropping it. Oh, Oh, that's so good. I love it. And then you click off and boom, you're done. Now, I think you can only do this to decorations. You can't do it to amenities. Um, and actually, if we go on decorations, you have a look at it. These are all the ones that you can do. Again, this searchlight would have been so cool to have had out of the lagoon. It's interesting, actually. It's making like underwater sound effects. <laughs> oh, no, it's just a coral reef. It kind of looked like something. But yeah, anyway, so you can change all these lights, you, especially the fountain as well, um, which is one of the more interesting ones to change because it actually changed the whole thing whereas some of them like the amber statue only changes the the spotlights on the outside which is a bit of a shame because it would have been cool to have the amber illuminate from underneath and in fact you know if this was real life they would 100 percent have lights underneath that amber to illuminate it but hey anyway that being said you also get a drone for the avery which is interesting and it sounds just as glorious as a real drone does. And of course, with this one, you can take pictures. Uh, you can kind of see the drones. Uh, or you can turn all the way around. Ooh, look at that. I should have done that with the other one. Uh, and you can also, you should have an aim mode. Yes, yes. There we go. So just like the other drone. Can I bump? Oh, can we go through? Ah, oh, it's like X Games or whatever you want to call it with all the other drones. <laughs> So, how about we get into the, you know, the, the part you've been waiting for, the new dinosaurs. And it is the Styxosaurus. Now, you can only get three of these in a max batch, but this thing is huge. Now, I've randomized, oh, hello. I've, I've randomized the uh, colorings on it, so each one should be different. Oh, wow, that is like a bioluminescent one. And I think this is one of the dinosaurs that actually has bioluminescence on it. Ooh, I don't know which skin it is that has it, and we can actually take a look at it. But look, it, I think this has the longest neck of any plesiosaur in the game. That's saying something. A Lasmosaur, there it is. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just release a couple more, see if we can get some different angles, you know, check them out. I have put the voice on, actually, but it appears that they don't have any voice lines. I thought maybe we'd get some, you know, information about it. Maybe it's because it's sandbox and maybe we do, or maybe I've done it wrong. I don't know. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. 
blue. Oh, these look great. Oh, that was cool. Little bit of clipping, but you know, it's to be expected, especially in an enclosure that is kind of this small. But what I wanted to do was just quickly make a Mosasaur and just see if we had an interaction between those two, because I'm sure we'll have interactions with everything, but you know, we want to see the Mosasaur. Let's release the Mosasaur. Really, he should go for the neck. That's what I'm going to think. And it's been so long that I can't even remember what the kill animation was for the Elasmosaur. So if it does do it, I'm going to be very confused. <laughs> oh, oh, of course you talk about this one. Yes, let's change that. There we go. Now you yeah, don't say anything. <laughs> oh, wow. Even the Mosasaur is way bigger than it. Wow. Okay. I did not expect that. Well, I mean, longer. I knew it was going to be bigger, but I didn't think it was going to be longer. Jesus, really, they uh, they definitely jumped the Mosasaur on this one. Good God. Okay, let's follow it around, and hopefully it should attack one. Oh, before we do that, actually, hold on. Before it does that, let's do this. We can go in first person mode. Ah, oh, look at this. Can we scan? Although, it's not really like, like I take photos. Taking photos. Yes. If only we didn't have these black bars on, it would be beautiful. So I can dive down. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. This is awesome. We can actually get like a legit feeling of what it feels like to be in the water with the moose. Wow. <laughs> Smile. Bam. Oh, look at that. Yes. 200,000. Funny it was that easy to make money, right? <laughs> actually, going third person works too. Just not as well. Oh, 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 Nudge me out of the way, damn it. <laughs> Still cool, though. I really like this. It's such a good idea. Hello. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Are you going after that guy? Please do. I'd like to see it. You know, it'd be really cool if we went back to that park we made where we put loads, like hundreds almost, of aquatic creatures together and then just took a drone through and just like swam around. That would be so awesome. Yes, we got one. We go on, baby. Okay, okay, hold on. Can I go in capture mode? Okay, I don't know which one he's going for. Oh, God. Oh, it looks like it's this one. I, th I, th I think it's this one he's going for. Here we go. Oh, bite of the flipper. Oh, Jesus. And then the pull of the neck. Okay, that seems... Yeah, that seems to be the same as uh, Elasmosaur's death animation. So, well, I mean, at least we got to see it. That looked kind of cool. On to the next ones. All right, so let's go on to these guys. I don't even know what these ones are called. Oh, that was cool. Like a little running animation. That looked sweet. Oh, you, you kidding me? You have... You, you talk for these ones, but you don't talk for the sticks. It's so, damn it. That these animals you're, you're not talking, are you? But oh, here you are! These stunning creatures. The Barbaradactylus oh. casts a striking shadow thanks to its boomerang-shaped wingspan. Let's just keep Ooh. them safely contained, okay? And okay. I trust them to come back of their own accord. Right. So, I mean, these... I Oh, wait. Did I make these all the same? Oh, I think I made the first batch the same before I, <laughs> before I changed them. <laughs> But interesting, you know, it's not a dinosaur that I was kind of wanting or <laughs> expecting, if I'm going to be brutally honest. But it's nice to have a different one. I think there's a lot of dinosaurs that we want in Jurassic World um, Evolution 2. And especially, you know, with Jurassic World Dominion, we haven't got the Atrociraptors yet. But I get the feeling that we're probably going to get Atrociraptors at Christmas. We, we always get a DLC around about Christmas time. Um, and I feel like that'll be the Trosseraptor. That'll be the Lystrosaurus. Uh, and anything else, like the Overaptor, that's missing um, from, you know, the Dominion movie. Uh, whereas this feels like, oh, they've had this plan for a while. And then they didn't know where they were going to slot this DLC in. But now that Dominion's out, they're like, oh, okay, well, we've done that. And uh, now we do this one. And then at Christmas, you can get the Atrociraptors. So don't worry, I, I already know there's going to be comments like, where are they? <laughs> oh, they might have a unique kill animation for human beings, actually. Ooh, that would be interesting. We'll check in with those later when I get them to break out. But first, we should have a look at the newest, not you, no, 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 the newest herbivore in this, which is the Alomosaurus, I think it is. Definitely not. <laughs> But it's like a, like a giraffe, a titan. It's quite a unique uh, looking sauropod. Um, 
it, it's it's almost like what I imagined. Ooh. It's got a very, I don't know, like 90s dinosaur thick head. <laughs> it's like kind of broad, like something from the dinosaurs. But I'm expecting you to be very needy and do not be happy in this enclosure. Look at this. Oh, oh, he's got like sad eyes. Oh, bless it. So what do, what do you even need? Oh, you're not even out yet because there's a second one. You can only get two of these. Which I think is par for the course. I think most giant sauropods can either have one or two. And this is, I think, not the biggest. Okay, so it needs... Oh, it's got bracken poison. Oh, it's already vulnerable. So it needs a love stall nut and forest. And actually, this is enough open space for it already. But it doesn't have anything else. Oh, never mind. They're already coming out. I didn't get an introduction for that one. Sweet. <laughs> so some interesting colors. I like this sort of pattern that's on the uh, the back of the neck there. Look at your face. Very cute. Very cute. But again, I think most people that like sauropods are just these things that either they can get a lot of star rating. Um, but when it comes to, you know, anything else kind of just stand there and just demand a lot. <laughs> they don't really do much else. So, with that being said, how about we look at something that isn't so demanding, but is entertaining? The Ostroraptor or Ostrovenator. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh look at that. The three-quarter angle. Woo! Now, this definitely has a cool, unique animation. If you just look the at it for instance. The Ostrilovenator has yes. been labelled the cheater of its time, and I can certainly see why. Ooh. Here we have a hunter with terrific speed, power, and focus. The makeup of a perfect prehistoric predator, really. Just don't get spotted, because there's no way you're going to outrun this one. Oh, yes, that looks really cool. There's always one dinosaur with these DLC packs that have unique animations. And, you know, you've got, like, the Styxosaur, which is the Elasmosaur. You've got the... the... Oh, not Okay. So, as I was saying, in every DLC, you get a unique dinosaur. I think it'll have it, like, a Guanodon was one. And in this one, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Astro... What's it called? Astralovenator. Yes, that's the one. Yes, Astro. So, I'm putting it in with a Archaeonothomimus, and hopefully we'll get to see all the unique animations, because there's definitely going to be a few. Okay, here we go. We have a hunt, and he just sort of ran straight towards it. Uh, oh, oh, okay. You're going to... Nope. Oh, we're hunting. Oh, we're hunting this way. And... Oh, yes, there it is. Oh, oh, we're definitely going to need to see that again from, like, the proper angle. Because it sort of, like, clawed the head. Oh, that looked awesome. Right, so it's actually not okay with a population of one or two. It probably needs three, I would assume. But the colorings are great. I love the difference from the blue to the, the orange head. That looks so nice. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Another hunt. He's a guess. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, it depends how it's going to pounce on it. But I get the feeling. Oh, yes. The action shot. Here we go. At least we get to see it from this angle. Yeah. Oh, the stab on the head. Glorious sort of release animation as well as uh, loads of different colors. Hey, look, we got another one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I accidentally put like Rana on all of them. And this is a lovely shot of grass. <laughs> what? And hopefully this won't be grass. It's a bit of a shame of the lighting, but these will 100% be different colors, different patterns. Oh no, it's another shot of grass. I love looking at grass. It's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, look at this one. This one looks so cool. The bright red one looks kind of cool too. That looks like a throwback to the original like Velociraptor toys used to get from Kenner. Okay, now to release the little dindins, the homalocephale, to see just how it has fun with these. You're going to die, aren't we? Yes. And just as they get like a little bit of a head start, here comes the other one. It's like, ah, look at me, yes. Oh, a fight between two of them. Okay, this is interesting. Ah, okay, it's the classic. It's the roly-poly. But Oh, look at that skin, man. That looks so good. Oh, wait, hold on. That's that's a Moser. Well, we, you know what? We, we can see another fight. Why not? Oh, oh. <laughs> I love when it works like that. Yum. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, the clipping on that one was insane. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I killed the one with really nice colorings. That has to be, like, if this was night, that has to have glowed in the dark, surely. 
Oh, okay. I barely had time to catch that one. But I think we're about to see... Oh, God, yep. Yeah. How... Oh, Mel Assembly is about to meet its end. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's playing with it. You, you know that the image of, like, the lioness or the cheetah with the baby deer or whatever it is? Yeah, this kind of looks like that. I don't know if he's going to move anymore. Oh! Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Okay, okay, we definitely need to get rid of all this grass because it is 100% getting in the way. Well, hopefully this time... Oh, 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 it's running! Run, little Malacephaly, run! No! <laughs> oh, so it sort of pins it down, kicks it with its feet, and then bites its neck? Oh, oh, no, poor baby. And then it goes, wee! <laughs> <laughs> All right, while we're waiting for those to incubate, let's release another one. And this time, just see what this guy can do against, you know, like a Carnotaurus, a medium carnivore. I always get the feeling that whenever I do battles with Carnotaurus, they're going to glitch. And I don't know why that is. I feel like I've just had a lot of things in the past where that sort of happened. Go on, then. We need to see loads. Okay, here we go. Another hunt for the Hamalocephaly. And oh, yes. Actually, we'll be able to see a little bit here. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, oh, beautiful. Wow. Oh, well, we get to sit, kill it, and eat it again. Wee. <laughs> oh, I think we have it. Oh, the Carnotaurus. Right, now, how is this going to go? Carnotaurus should definitely probably win this. Looks like it just needs to headbutt it, and it would break all the... Oh, <laughs> all the bones in its body. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, maybe we need to, you know, genetically modify one to uh, make sure it stands a little bit more of a chance than that. Oh, I can have infinite modifications? <gasps> so it's going to be the fittest, it's going to be the most defend first. Oh, dear. <laughs> Frontier, please, in the next update, allow us to click on the goat. I want to see its health and everything. <laughs> It would be so good to be able to actually have, like, a goat as a dinosaur. Like, you could click on it. You could see, you know, its wants and needs. Please do. That would be so good. You've made Planet Zoo. Just put that in. Put all the animals in Planet Zoo. That would be brilliant. This raises an interesting question. What is it like? Not against the Carnotaurus. We do not need to see that. But against a Velociraptor. Oh, maybe we should even do the Pyroraptor, even. Are you panicking because of the Hadrosaurs? Really? Freaking raptors kill these things. Another kid. Oh, that would have been brilliant. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> it's, like, it's like playing with it like a dog and a toy. Like, yum, yum. Wee. Okay, we're about to see the goat kill animation. Is it the same as the homalocephaly? Yes, it is. Oh, no. Oh, it looks worse than a goat for some reason. Oh, yeah. I forgot to feed these guys. I I have no idea. This this thing does not want to hunt a Carithosaurus. Yep, it's not even hunting them, and it's going to starve to death. Wow, that is interesting. All right then, here they come. Nope, don't don't want to. Don't want, don't want to work together. Nope. All right then. I guess for some other reason these are the only dinosaurs that do not take on freaking Carithosaurus or Hadrosaurus. Oh, but they'll fight each other. Ah, okay, that makes sense. All right then. The one and only friggin' Pyroraptor, who will would probably take on a Carithosaurus. It's half the size of the thing. Oh, I think it's already calling over one of them. Yeah, I think it is. Here he comes. Oh, actually, yeah, they are the similar size, I suppose. This should be quite interesting. Right, let's see. A green versus a red. Oh, it goes for the first hit. Ooh, that's promising. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes! Oh, that was beautiful! Oh, wow! That was cool! Did it even take any damage? No, it didn't! Oh, damn! That was cool. I like that. That was awesome. Right, okay, now let's see what an Ostrovenator does against something like, you know, a Draco Rex, a sort of medium herbivore, because that can't pick it up like a Homalocephaly, scratch it and throw it away. It's a bit more dangerous, but it's not the same size as a Carithosaur, for instance. Okay, this is interesting. I was not expecting them to actually have a battle. I thought he would just straight up kill it. But apparently the Draco Rex can defend itself. Ooh. Ooh, that was cool. He's almost hopped over it there. Oh, that was supposed to be damage for it. Oh, it did it again. So it's not biting it. It's actually like using its long limbs to sort of get hits off on it. But it's also taken some damage. Oh, oh, that looks cool. I like that. 
Drugorex doesn't look too hot, though. Let's see. Oh, is it going to die? I don't know. Are we going to call this off? Yes, we're calling this off. But wow, look at you. Okay, here we go. 100% on the uh, carnival. And I think the Draco Rex is on 50%. So this should be a kill. He's already got two victories. Should have better in for me. It's already lost against it. So I'm expecting to see, hopefully, not a glitch. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, wow! Oh! That was great! Jeez! We need to see that again on something else. That animation lasted a long while. Okay, and now... Let's see what Indoraptor has to say about the new dinosaurs. Oh, no, never mind. It's calling a fight straight away, as to be expected. Oh, oh, okay. Has the same death animations as the Velociraptors. Wow. You would have thought all that weight on the Indoraptor would, like, have crushed it. But no, no, no. It's light and agile. It's fine. Okay. Do we get to see this fight to the death again? Because this was so good. Out of all the death animations this thing has had, or the kill animations, this one, look at that, the bite, it tries to go for it, and, like dodges around, claws it, takes it down, claws at the head, turns it, oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> I love it, this came to this fight, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, that, that's happening, oh okay. Well, I want to see it the other angle, but I think we're probably going to get it the same way, or maybe not. Oh, there it is! And then, oh, oh, the, yeah, yeah, boom! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the time has come, and here she arrives! Go on, eat it, kill it. Imagine the Atrociraptor, oh, sorry, not Atrociraptor, Ostroraptor kills this thing straight away. Ostrovenate, god damn it! <laughs> it's too many dinosaurs. I was kind of hoping that the Rex would instantly kill it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. However, ah, there it is. It would have been way more satisfying to have it like bite down and then shake it around and stuff. A bit like how T-Rex kills the Indoraptor. But no, we don't get that. All right, so we've only got a couple things left, and that is the Ostroraptor Ostralovenator is kill animation with human beings. We're gonna get a kill, but it, it, unfortunately, oh, oh, lovely. I think she was already dead there, but you, you just wanted to make sure, I think. Get a kill in the sunlight. Whee! Oh my God, stop killing people in the dark, damn it. Look, there's so many to choose from. Why do you always kill people in the shadows? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> there you go. Now you've got nowhere to hide. Don't you dare. I see that blooming tree shadow. <laughs> Which one you're gonna go for, buddy? Oh, oh, is it this dude? <gasps> she met her day. Oh no, it was them, and of course she killed them with the freaking shadow again. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Perfectly as well. You couldn't make this up. Good god. Oh, the f <laughs> finally. Good god. Okay, let's see. Let's see this animation in all of its glory. Go on, who are you going to get? Oh, there it is. Pins him down and... Why Why always bad angles with you? <laughs> if it's not shadows, it's bad angles. That's it. It's all getting cleared. Okay, this could be it. Yes. Oh, lovely. And there you go. Oh, yum, 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 yums. It's a, it's a decent death, but to be honest... Like, it's got way better ones. Oh, look who did it like some. But to be fair, it's goat kill animation, and it's like Draco Rex to Pachycephalosaurus animation. They're the better ones. They look so good. Hey, right, so that being said, there's only one thing left to do, and that's let these guys out. But first, they've got to bump themselves on the glass like about a million times. Yeah, there you go. There's nobody here. Nope, you're going to have to go further afield and deleting all this so you can't perch on it. Oh. <laughs> Why did it just squawk into the into the ground? Oh, there we go. It's working. Well, that's a weird animation. I've never seen that one before. Oh, it's like, yes, it is. It's hunting down the homalocephaly. Oh, I was wondering if it was going to have this animation. All right, go on then. How are you going to do it? How are you going to kill it? Everything always kills homalo. And it does it in the bush. Why, why'd you always do it like this? <laughs> All right, then continue. So you've sat on it and then what? Oh, 
Okay, so you kind of just kill it like normal. Okay, cool. So that's probably gonna have to wrap up this video. Unfortunately, I didn't really get it killing a human just because it seems to be a little bit tough. And just as I stop the recording, we get a kill of it killing a human. It sort of like stabs it in the back and then it's like, oh, it, it's actually kind of brutal the way it does that. Oh, no. Although saying that, it, it might actually be killing a human out. Nope, I don't know. It's, it's having a look. But uh, yes, if you've enjoyed this video, do leave a like. Um, I'm assuming that the next DLC we'll get will include the Atrociraptors and Lystrosauruses. And, and you know, the things that we kind of miss from the Dominion DLC. So don't worry, I'm, I feel fairly confident we'll get that. And they, those seem like good things to sort of wait um, and like hold off for for Christmas because that's when they know that, you know, people will want to buy and all that jazz. But if you've enjoyed this video... Leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.